Hi guys, we're back again. Um, I'm going to talk to you today about planets. Can you hear a letter at the beginning of p -p planets? Do you know what it is? It's a letter P. P says p like planets. Well, I have a little uh, song about the planets, so we're going to sing that first, and then I'm going to read you something, and then I'm going to tell you a fun thing to make. So here we go. One little, two little, three little planets, four little, five little, six little planets, seven little, eight little, nine little planets, and our great big sun. Round and round go the planets, round and round go the planets, round and round go the planets, round our great big sun. Now guess what? If we were in our classroom today, we would be standing in a circle and I would be picking somebody, maybe Judah, maybe Cammy, maybe Nick or Ariana to stand in the middle and be the sun. And we would take turns so everybody had a turn to go round and round the sun. So I want you to remember the nine little planets and you maybe you can play that at home with your family. Maybe you can sing this. I'll see if I can write this little point for you to have it hum. I also brought a little uh, informational book about planets, and it says, The Planets. Some of the brightest lights that we can see in the sky at night are called planets. Can you say that word? Planets. The Earth is a planet, and there are seven other planets. The other planets are called Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Pluto is a dwarf planet. That means it's really small. And all the planets move around, what did we say in our song? The sun. Can you say sun? What letter does sun start with? S. S says s, like sun. Astronomers are also discovering more and more planet-like objects called planetoids. Some of the planetoids are even farther from the sun than Pluto. Astronomer, well that's a big word. Do you know what they do? I think they study the sky. They study things that are in the sky. Astronomers, they might even look through a telescope at night and look closely at the stars and the planets. Would you like to be an astronomer? Can you say that word? Astronomer, it's a really big word, but you're gonna be really smart for knowing what that is. I have put in your packet a little page that tells you how to create your own planet using things that you have at your house. It says use old magazines or newspapers to create a planet. Pick a color that you want your planet to be and search for those colors. What if you want your planet to be red? Then you're going to look for red pictures. What if you want your planet to be blue? What color picture are you gonna look for? Blue, how about purple? Or yellow, or orange, or green, or brown, or even black? You're going to find the color you want your planet to be, and you're gonna cut little pieces of paper out, or tear them if you don't have any scissors, and then you're going to put them together on a piece of paper and make your own planet. And then you can give your planet a name. Won't that be fun? What a fun activity to make your own planet. Would you like to take a little walk over and on our calendar, we have a picture of a rocket ship with some planets around it. So come on over and let's take a look at our calendar picture. Oh, there's somebody over there. Do you see who it is? Who's here? Cat in the Hat has come over here and sat by our calendar. It says, shoot for the moon, land among the stars, and there's a rocket ship taking off, flying through space, and I believe this must be the moon because I see craters, and this must be what, Neptune? I think it might be. I don't know. Is it Neptune? Well, anyway, We've learned a little bit about space this week, and we're going to have one more day to talk about space. So I hope that you'll be excited 
to come back tomorrow and we'll see what we're gonna find out on our last day of talking about space. See you tomorrow, bye.